We saw it live as it was happening only on 7 Action News at noon. Protesters staging a sit-in at the Detroit City Council meeting. Now, people in the Detroit City Council audience became heated, out of control, and turning on city council members as they were about to vote on a controversial contract with ties to the emergency manager. Two people would be arrested after the 5-2 to two vote. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner was in the middle of it all. The protesters have come to City Hall before, and this was a huge controversy everybody knew about. Security was still lax. There's going to be order in this room. The same people had been here before to protest, but this is the first time during a city council meeting. We shall have We shall have Five minutes turned into more than an hour and 15 minutes, still with only the usual two security people. So I am uh, more interested in what's going on in this city. Okay, it's going to get ugly here. There's, uh, there's one who entered into the center council area. That protester was not arrested, just moved back to the audience. Police had been called, but still had not arrived. You were making part. a statement. We all here are making this statement. All of us in Detroit need to make it. At issue was emergency manager Kevin Orr and his ties to his former law firm, Jones Day, plus the firm's representation of Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, who holds Detroit city bonds. Two city staff attorneys told council they do see a conflict of interest, but that's against the opinion of the acting city attorney as well as the emergency manager. Anybody who feels that they want to disrupt the proceedings, stay right here, and then we will deal with you accordingly. The crowd cleared, came back, and after a 5-3 to three vote approving the contract, the heat was back on. Elena Harada of the Detroit School Board is one of the two arrested. Protesters wanted council to vote no because the contract can't be approved without their vote by emergency manager Kevin Orr. In order to keep their little stipend, they gave him cover. You know to approve the Jones Day is a disgrace. Yes. Right. You're taking away, away our rights. Our and day. God forbid that these thieves are in office. The two arrested were brought out here to the bus. They obviously came prepared for more if it was needed, even though they were late to this disturbance. At City Hall downtown, Jim Kirstner, 7 Action News. All right.